Hey everybody, I hope you are doing well. About a year ago, I was with one of my clients, Gainesville Dance Center, and I helped them film a video for their studio showing out how amazing it is, how students love the space, and how people would enjoy being there. And so I thought, hey, maybe this would make an interesting video. So here we are. Today, I'm going to show you how to film a dance studio. Hi, I'm Chris Kreese. I am a photographer and filmmaker based out of Tulsa, Oklahoma. So the first thing that you want to do when you're approaching a dance studio and you're trying to figure out how to film it is doing some location scouting. You do this in order to figure out the next steps as far as what equipment that you're going to need. We'll talk about that in a bit, but location scouting gives you a good idea of the angles that you're trying to capture, the lighting, the way that you move around the space. And because of that, it's going to help you in the long term. So here I have a couple clips of the location that you see here, a couple shots of the studio, and this just helps me understand what I need to do when I come into the space and it's time to film. Since you might have people in your footage, it is very important that you get model releases. This way you have the rights to use their likeness and put them in the video and show off the space without violating anybody's privacy or their personal rights be sure to get model releases before you start filming anything. It will save you in the long run. Now that we've done our location scouting, we can go ahead and start figuring out what gear that we need in order to film this space. When I looked over my location scouting notes from the dance studio, I noticed that I wanted to capture the full feeling of the room and I wanted to capture the full room in my shots. And so for the majority of what you see here, I use the Zeiss Battis 18mm f2.8 lens. That low aperture means that I can get the shots that I need with enough light in order to capture everyone inside the shot. Plus, when you have a lens that light, it's very easy to balance on a gimbal. Which brings me to my next point. A gimbal is absolutely a lifesaver for a job like this. When you're moving through the studio and you wanna get these smooth, cinematic shots with this movement that makes you feel like you're walking into the studio for the first time, then having a gimbal makes it very easy for you to do this. For this shoot, I had the DJI Ronin S and I used that in order to make sure that everything was stable, everything was level, and everything was balanced. It had enough power behind it where I could throw almost any lens on there if I wanted to mix up my shots with different lenses and it just gave me a lot of flexibility as far as payload. So for this shoot, I used two lenses, the Sony 24-70 f2.8 G Master, which allowed me to get a tighter focal length up to 70 millimeters. So if I needed to zoom in on details, this was my lens to go to. And then the Zeiss Battis 18 millimeter was my specialty lens in order to capture the full view of the room. Finally, let's talk about cameras. And for this shoot, I wanted to make sure that I had a camera that could take stills if I needed to, but primarily we're focused on video. And so I was using the Sony a7 III. It has been my go-to camera for the past two years now, as far as being a perfect balance of photo and video specs. And its low light performance is good enough for interior shoots where I felt comfortable using it. So that helped me go around and get the shots that I wanted to get. So when you're filming a studio, you wanna show off the details of the studio that make that studio special. With my friends at Gainesville, I wanted to show off these spacious dance studio rooms. And so I would walk into each room with my camera on the gimbal and make it feel like you're walking into the room for the first time. It's beautifully lit, it's spacious, it's plenty of room for you to practice dancing in. It's someplace that you wanna be and you wanna enjoy. Showing off the room by itself helps demonstrate its unique characteristics and it helps you get a feel for the place that you'll be in. You also want to capture any details of the space. So for myself, I made sure I captured all the trophies that they've won at Star Power Dance Competitions. I wanted to capture the staff. I wanted to make sure that I showed off the space as best as possible to make you feel like you're actually there. In addition to making you feel like you're actually there, 
having students inside the studios doing their routines, practicing, helped so much in understanding, hey, I could see myself being here. This is what it would look like in a full class, full of people enjoying themselves, practicing dance, and loving what they do. Paying attention to the routines of the students as they move around the studio gives you a better idea of how they move around. And because of that, it gives you an easier way to follow them as they practice and you can get better angles and more dynamic shots. So when you put everything together, you get a video that shows off the space, the students, and the character and the feeling of being in that dance studio. And that adds so much character to it just other than just shooting the studio by itself. So all together, doing a location scout to know what equipment to bring, getting your model releases, getting your gear prepped, and then being able to shoot the studio blank and then with people inside the studio will help you develop a better film that shows off your studio space. So that's going to wrap it up for this video. My name is Chris. If you like what you saw in this video, be sure to hit the like button. If you want to see more videos like this in the future, be sure to hit subscribe down below. I will see you on social at CreaseWorks. And until the next video, I hope you take care of yourselves. One.